afternoon. The raindrops continue to fall right on our camera here in Fargo and our Storm Team Skycam network. It's just one of those days where we're going to end up with more cloud cover and the potential for some sprinkles or some light showers. And that's especially the case for those of us who are on the south end of the Red River Valley where the radar is very colorful. We've got lots of green showing up here in the southern part of the valley. And this has been the case throughout the morning and now continuing into the afternoon. Up to the north, we've been enjoying more sunshine, especially in northeastern North Dakota, and starting to see more clouds starting to form in places like Devil's Lake and then back over to Minot. And this is an area we pointed out earlier. We're starting to see some radar returns pop up, some areas of green there, indicating that we might see a few more of those showers develop as we head into the afternoon in that area where we've had a little more heating going on, and that can feed into the development of showers or even a thunder shower. Southern Valley, it's been more steady, very light stuff affecting us in the south, especially along the South Dakota, North Dakota line. And as we expand the view, you can see this is a big system. And, and this one is definitely bringing more rain and heavier rain down to southern Minnesota. So we're just kind of right on the northern end of it. And it is starting to shift eastward. So we're starting to see that clearing line uh, for that rain start to drop to the south and east a little bit more here. And that will continue as we head through the afternoon and into this evening. Though we can't rule out more of those pop-up showers developing up in the north and west. So here's a look at our temperatures right now. I mentioned there's some places that have heated up a little more than others. Hallock, close to 60 degrees right now where we've had some sun. Down in the Southern Valley, we're only at 43 in Detroit Lakes. It's 45 in Fargo and it's 53 up in Grand Forks. So definitely Northern Valley, especially Northeastern North Dakota, seeing some of those warmer temperatures. Our winds are turning to that northeasterly direction on average. We're seeing some winds gusting into the 20s or steady in the 20s. And our visibility down, of course, where we're seeing the areas where we've got a little bit of light rain in the Gwinter area, back over up toward Valley City, just a slight lowering. So here's a look at your hour by hour planner. Those showers will continue. They'll slowly move their way southeastward. And then in the Northern Valley, you can see our forecast model indicating some more of those pop up showers developing, maybe some that ramp up to a brief little thunderstorm, nothing ser uh, serious or severe here. And then as we head into the nighttime hours tonight, the system overall is pulling away. So our chances for rain will wind down as we move through the overnight hours. So starting tomorrow morning, most of us enjoying some sunshine once it's up around that six o'clock hour and temperatures that are cooler as a result of the clearing will be into the 30s. Now heading into the rest of the day, more sun. There will be some clouds, but we'll end up seeing a lot more sun tomorrow than we did today, especially for those of us in the south. By noon, 40s to about 50 degrees, a breezy day. We're going to see in the morning hours, especially some gusts getting into the 20s and some 30s out of the north. And then heading into the afternoon, perhaps we'll see a couple of pop-up isolated showers in the east, but I think most of the day will be on the drier side and pleasant but cool. Temperatures will be in the 50s rather uh, for the uh, afternoon hours for your Thursday with quieter conditions ahead for tomorrow. So little by little, we're improving the forecast from day to day. By Friday, lots of sun, a little more wind, but that will help to usher in some warmer air and we'll get into the 60s this weekend. Some 60s on the way. Saturday, we'll see a chance for some showers, but still not too bad. And then Mother's Day looks great. 65, mostly sunny, and then we're approaching 70 by the time we get to Monday. So we really do have some nice weather ahead if this rainy, latest rainy day gets you down a little bit. Just took us to the middle of May to get some good stuff. <laughs> That's right. It's been, a, it's been a tough go. That winter seemed to last for a long time. It sure has. Thank you, Lisa.